James Gunn regrets his lack of attention to detail because he was so amazed by Margot Robbie. Hello viewers, welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more videos. Margot Robbie's core strength and resilience were put to the test when she played Harley Quinn in James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. The action-packed film provided a new perspective for the characters, but also offered a deeper exploration of the franchise. Even though there were stunt people on set, Robbie insisted on doing one of the difficult dances herself. She did so successfully, but it seemed that some misfortune followed her that day. During an interview on Jimmy Kimmel Live, director James Gunn shared that the hardest thing he asked Margot Robbie to do on the set of The Suicide Squad was something he never thought she would be able to accomplish. There's a scene in which Margot is hung with handcuffs above her head, and she has to place her toes along a dead body and pick up a key from the corpse, flipping her toes back to put the key in the lock above her. Head, open it, and then go straight down. This sounds like a really difficult thing to pull off, but the actress insisted on not using a stunt double in the scene because she could manage it herself. It's like a human Swiss army knife that was able to flip itself backwards. It was honestly my favorite day. Torturing Margot was my favorite day on set. Watching that scene of her flipping backwards was incredible. I was so happy it worked. I was blown away by it. Fans could tell that Gunn was so in awe of the actress that he didn't notice a technical error in the scene, completely wasting Robbie's efforts. She walks into the editing room with the footage, and you have this little cuff on your dress that's covering her face, so it looks like she's a sexy person, Gunn explained. The Guardians of the Galaxy director lamented not having brought scissors to cut those tool sleeves. Margot Robbie is no ordinary Barbie star. She expressed her love for performing stunts and is a huge sports fan. She told E.T. Online, I'm less cool than Harley Quinn, I'm sure. I love stunts, so I really like it. It's great to work with an amazing stunt team. They had me do everything other than the stunts, so it was fun. The actress previously admitted that performing sexy scenes affected her sleep because her body continued to feel the rush of adrenaline that she felt while performing those movements. However, the actress has no plans to stop stunt work. It's truly amazing to know that Robbie is putting in the effort and initiative to bring Harley Quinn to life on the big screen in the most authentic way possible. Margot Robbie and Tom Ackerley are excitedly gearing up for the birth of their first baby. As the couple inches closer to their little one's arrival, a source tells people that they can't wait to welcome their new addition. Multiple sources confirmed to people in July that the Barbie star and her director husband, both 34, are expecting their first baby together. Margot absolutely can't wait, the insider tells people, adding that Robbie and Ackerley have wanted to be parents for a really long time and are so happy. A separate source echoed similar sentiments in July, telling people that the couple wanted to start a family for quite some time. Family means a lot to both of them and they knew early on in their relationship being parents was something they really wanted, the insider told people at the time. They've been keeping it under wraps for a while but are happy the news is out, added the source. One of the only people to discover Robbie's pregnancy news was her Barbie co-star Ariana Greenblatt's mom. Speaking to people in August about the bond she formed while filming the Greta Gerwig-directed blockbuster film Barbie, Greenblatt revealed that her mom, Soli, had a dream about Robbie's pregnancy. I was like, Mom, I'm not texting Margot, I think you're pregnant. She's going to think I'm crazy, Greenblatt, 16, said in People's August digital cover story. Then, when the news was out, she went straight to her mom. I was like, Mom, Margot's pregnancy came out today. And she was like, I called it, I'm a bruja, which I can tell the future. She gave a dramatic pause. That happens a lot with her. Margot Robbie and her husband, British film producer Tom Ackerley, are preparing for their next chapter together. In July 2024, several sources confirmed to people that the couple, who quietly married in 2016, are expecting their first child. Robbie and Ackerley first met in 2013 on the set of the World War II drama Suite Francaise, where he was an assistant director and she was in front of the camera. They began dating the following year. 
In 2014, the pair co-founded a production company alongside friends Josie McNamara and Sophia Kerr. Lucky Chap Entertainment has produced several films and television series, including I, Tanya, Birds of Prey, and Barbie, all of which starred Robbie. We spend 24 hours a day together, Ackerley told the Sunday Times in June 2024 when discussing how he and Robbie balance their personal and professional lives. It's seamless. We don't have a toggle on, toggle off. It's all become one thing. So who is Margot Robbie's husband? Here's everything to know about Tom Ackerley and his relationship with the Oscar-winning actress. Before he started working behind the scenes on film sets, Ackerley got his start in the industry working as an extra in the first three installments of the Harry Potter films. Robbie is a massive fan of the series and spent her 13th birthday sipping tea and reading one of the novels. In an interview on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Jimmy Kimmel shared what Robbie called her most embarrassing photo. I'm drinking a cup of tea. I'm in bed. I'm clearly really enjoying myself reading Harry Potter, she said of the photo. The actress also spoke about her husband's involvement in the films during a 2020 appearance on The Graham Norton Show. My husband is in the Harry Potter movies. I know, I was like, had you told me sooner we would have been married very quickly, Robbie joked. But he was an extra when he was a little kid. He was one of the Slytherin extras when Draco pushes some kids out of the way to see Buckbeak in the third book. He pushes my husband out of the way. Following a short stint in front of the camera, Ackerley went on to study at Godalming College in the UK and later entered the film industry behind the camera. He began his career working as a floor runner and set production assistant, before later working as an assistant director, according to the British Film Institute. Ackerley met his future wife in 2013 on the set of Sweet Francais, where he was working as a third assistant director. Robbie starred in the war romance film alongside Michelle Williams. At the time, Robbie was not looking for a relationship when the best-looking guy in London caught her eye, as she recalled to Vogue in 2016. I was the ultimate single gal. The idea of relationships made me want to vomit, she said. And then this crept up on me. We were friends for so long. I was always in love with him, but I thought, oh, he would never love me back. Don't make it weird, Margot. Don't be stupid and tell him that you like him. Robbie continued, and then it happened, and I was like, of course we're together. This makes so much sense, the way nothing has ever made sense before.